Sports. Well, we're about two games in in every series now, so it's the perfect time to overreact to what we've seen and see if this beautiful tweet right here needs any mad corrections. Let's start where the playoffs did. Dallas versus Utah. Luka missing the beginning of this round is possibly the biggest disappointment of the playoffs so far. I don't think Dallas has a serious shot at the conference finals this year, regardless of injury issues. But I'm certain they would have won this series if only Luka were able to suit up from game one. I expected them to win at least two while waiting on Luka, and they've done that so far after just an amazing performance in Game 2. But I still think the Jazz will eke out a win against the weakened Mavericks in 7. <sighs> Pending some much-needed defensive adjustments, let me just say to those of you who are confused that no, this is not Rudy Gobert's fault, at least it does not fall on his shoulders. You do need some perimeter defense in order to stop those levels of penetration, but yeah, the the Jazz did not look good, and the overreaction, the, the gut feeling would be right back to, ooh, Dallas is going to take this thing, they're going to get Luka back, and, and they're going to win it, and, and that might happen. But this Utah team has more experience in the playoffs, and I think they're going to bounce back and play a little bit better defense. But regardless, whoever wins this series, the, the fun will stop here. But let's say Jazz in seven for now. This next one is, is all but over in my book. Uh, if Scotty Barnes hadn't gone down with an injury, maybe uh, that that game one might have gone differently. But as it stands, I, I think this is going to be a gentleman's sweep at best. I'm not sold on Philly's chances to win the East, but they're clearly the better team here, and they're getting all the calls. I've seen the meme. Uh, the Raptors win 87-86 without the foul calls. The problem with that narrative is, is while there are still definitely some bad foul calls you can find the tape yourself they're not all non-existent fouls now we do need to see some of James Harden's offensive fouls get called correctly and I do hope the additional attention that it's getting on Twitter will coerce the league into adjusting that at the very least by next year they said they were going to fix it this year and they they haven't so uh, that needs to change but as it stands where we are there's no way the Sixers don't pull this one out and I, I'll be surprised if it goes to six games another series that likely won't make it to six at this point is Golden State and Denver Jordan Poole's ascension into the third Splash Brother makes this series a cinch for the Warriors and uh, as does Jokic's implosion in front of our very eyes again he probably will do a lot better than he did in game two but with this team not being healthy there is nothing he can do to combat the Warriors offensive prowess uh, he's outnumbered and the Nuggets will be lucky to push this one to six games oh Grizzlies versus the Timberwolves boy did that Grizzlies bandwagon empty out quickly or what? One loss and a questionable social media post or two from Ja, and people were all out on Memphis. One big blowout win, and everybody's back on board. Now, Minnesota is one of my favorite teams to watch in the playoffs, and this matchup is the second best of the first round in my book. And Grizzlies fans should stay calm and they likely are 
very calm after the way Game 2 was won. Uh, I do expect them to regain home court advantage by winning at least one of the games in Minnesota. And, and this one could go 7, uh, but I believe in the Grizzlies at least for this round. And Minnesota, they, they have high energy and they play with a lot of effort, but they also make really dumb decisions at times bad foul calls and 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 yeah both cat and pat bev can can put you in some questionable positions never question their effort their heart and you can't not question cat's talent but some of those bad calls they're just going to cost you in the playoffs and i've got the grizzlies let's call it seven for fun because that's what we want to see we also want to see the quick recovery of one Devin Booker as he will be out for at least games three and four. The Pelicans come home riding high after stealing game two in Phoenix. And of course, you'll get no sympathy from them. Zion, although he can do some 360s and some flashy moves in the pregame, is not able to run. One Reggie Miller disagrees with that. However, if New Orleans is able to win both of these games at home, then of course the Suns are in trouble. But this Phoenix team is so talented and deep that I believe that they will manage to win one of these two games and eventually the series in six. Let's not forget they do have Chris Paul, who despite what Christopher Russo may say, is a top five point guard all time and probably at this point better than Bob Cousy although uh, let, we'll, we'll talk about that some other time how about that Suns in six moving on to my favorite series in the first round the Boston Celtics and the Brooklyn Nets I <laughs> could game one have been any more entertaining for us had a great ending that spin move of Jason Tatum's will be on his highlight reel for years. And if this turns into a finals run for the Celtics, it will echo with the likes of John Havlicek in Boston lore. But for my money, I still think the Nets are going to win this one in seven. Not only that, but I have Brooklyn sliding into the NBA finals this year. I know, I know. What a long, strange trip it's been. But find me two better game closers than Kyrie and KD. I personally hope for a Nets Sixers Eastern Conference Finals, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's enjoy this series while it's here. Boston is the future of the Eastern Conference, quite likely. Uh, but I think Brooklyn is the present. We shall see. Nets in seven. Miami versus the Atlanta Hawks. All right. Uh, Miami in five. Next. Okay, fi fine. You know what? You know what I have to say about this series? Where was this Hawks team when I needed the Cavs to win one friggin' game to give their first round pick to the Pacers? Why did the Hawks have to ruin the Levert deal for me? I just... Uh, okay. All right. Well, all kidding aside, this is a one-sided matchup, especially now that Jimmy Butler has gone Super Saiyan. Miami in five, if Atlanta is lucky. Uh, I look forward to uh, Trey Young having future roles as the playoffs villain. Rounding this out will be the defending champions versus the Chicago Bulls. And as much as I would love to take a shot at Bulls fans after their harassment towards my perfectly reasonable Tristan Thompson take. I have to say that they look like they can give the Bucks trouble this round. I still think the defending champs will win this series, but don't be surprised if this goes the full seven. I think the Bucks are just too strong in the front court. And they have playoff experience to carry them through this tough matchup. Bucks in seven. Thank you so much for tuning in. Stay tuned for more playoff overreactions and just good old-fashioned sports content.